Section 4, in which we're going to look at planting design. After following the series of videos in this section, you'll be able to use classes to change the display properties of a planting plan, use the different modes of the plant tool to place plants into a design scheme, create a new plant definition, create a landscape area for calculating plant mixes, and create a worksheet to count and list the plants used in the scheme. First, we'll explore the planting file and the different options for plant graphics. Examine the resources. Open the file 1 Start Planting. Click the Home button on the right of the resource browser to ensure you're looking at the contents of the current file. Scroll through the resource browser and notice many plant symbols already present in the file. I've created these in advance, but you'll soon see how to make your own. Notice that the symbols have their names displayed in red. This means they are more intelligent than ordinary symbols and have an association with a specific tool, in this case, the plant tool. Examine the design layers. On the navigation palette, click on the Design Layers button. Notice that there are two layers you haven't worked with yet, planting and green roof planting. These layers are currently invisible. Click on the leftmost column under the visibility heading next to these layers to make them visible. The planting plan is displayed that you'll complete in this section. Make planting the active design layer. Now examine the classes. Click on the Classes button on the Navigation palette. Take a look at the classes in a little more detail. There's a series of classes whose names use the hierarchy Plants Component. You'll use these to control the way the plant symbols look. Now we'll explore the plant graphics in more detail. The symbols you see on the drawing are included with Vectorworks Landmark and can be customised to look just as you want them. This exercise will take you through the different ways you can display these symbols and the part that classes play in this process. For example, plants can display shadows, sketchy outlines and reduced detail. This section will introduce you to some of those options before you learn how to create your own plant definitions. Control the plant tag visibility. On the navigation palette, click the Classes button, locate the Plants Component Tags class and make it invisible. Make it visible again. Notice that the class enables you to control the tags independently of the plant symbol. The plant tags displayed by the plants can have different configurations and you'll see how to change those soon. I've arranged their position previously, and as the planting beds are all the same, I've only labelled one bed of each type, just for simplicity. Control the plant graphics. Zoom the view to display the plants in the top left planting area. Make the following classes invisible and notice their effect on the drawing. Plants, Component, Bloom. Plants, Component, Canopy. Plants, component, colour fill. Plants, component, interior line work. The use of classes within the symbols makes them very, very flexible. Make these classes visible again. Now we'll manage sketchy outlines and shadows. Make the plants, component, outline class invisible. The individual outlines around the plant symbols within the groups have been hidden. Notice, however, that the groups of plants have a sketchy outline around them. Click Selection. Select one of the plant groups. On the Object Info palette, scroll down to the Annotation Render heading. Change Outline to Two Outlines. Note the different options. The combination of the sketchy outline render and the hidden plants component outlines class is one way to display groups of plants. Now we'll explore another. Make the plants component outline class visible again. On the object info palette, check mass plants. 
This method of massing hides everything from the symbol apart from the rearmost polyline within the plant graphic, so you may lose background colour. If you need more control, use the class visibility method that we've seen earlier. Uncheck mass plants to restore the graphic. Select one of the Betula lenta trees on the far left of the plan. Uncheck plant shadows in plan view. Notice the shadows are no longer displayed. Check this box again to restore the shadows. Choose File, Document Settings, Document Preferences. Click Plan Shadows. The plants have been set up to display shadows according to this document-wide preference. Change the following. Offset 0.2 Factor of Object Height Angle, slide the button to the right to place shadows at around 45 degrees. Fill style, solid colour. Colour, choose a cool grey from the standard Vectorworks colours palette. Opacity, 50%. Click OK and wait for a moment while the shadows update. Remember, there are a lot of plants for Vectorworks to update in this drawing, so it may take a little while. The plants now display soft grey shadows at a 45 degree angle, but the shadows are also sized according to the height of each plant group. Remember also that any changes to the plant shadows through the document preferences will also affect any massing models you've used in your design scheme. Save your file before continuing to the following exercise.